Moses Maimonides is his name, born in 1135 in present day Spain. During this time, he was quite popular, living the life of a medieval philosopher, a rabbi physician, put into position to fix the condition of the Jewish religion. With great knowledge, he was equipped to pursue his work in Morocco and Egypt. His life started off sad and wild. His mother passed away when he was just a child. At the age of 13, he was forced to flee Cordoba when the Islamic took over the city. The Jews were attacked, homes were destroyed, all of this crap, and he was just a boy. Moses and his family fleed and escaped, looking for a place to relocate. Moses Maimonides. Moses Maimonides. Moses Maimonides. Moses Settled down in Egypt with a great aura, devoted his life to studying the Torah. Tragedy struck when his father passed, followed by his wife and two sons. It all happened fast. In his fifties, he became a physician to support his family and help the condition. Life became hard when he lost his brother. I mean, after all, he never had a mother. All his life, no matter what he saw, he dedicated his thoughts to the Jewish law, preached to the people and made them believe that love and good faith is all that they need. What a great guy, who would have known that a religion could be changed by one man alone? He was not aggressive, no need for fighting, he was progressive and fought through his writing. Moses Maimonides, Moses Maimonides, Moses Maimonides. You know what? Why am I running the show? We got him right here. Take it away, Mo. Bismi Allah, Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Irabil Alameen. Ar Rahman Rahim. Malik Yomadin. Yak and I'll put the wa yak and I'll Woo! Yeah, he speaks Arabic. We can't understand. Well, that screwed up. That wasn't the plan. I guess I'm gonna have to finish this myself. Oh, here comes in. Hey, you need some help? Great theologians found him influential. People in the future saw his potential. His life was hard, but it wasn't miserable. He died in Egypt, but was buried in Israel. People learn from him still to this day. So in memory of Moses, let's honor him today.